Episode 10 of The Kickback. We are not in our usual location. If you are watching this, um, our set is a little different. Lighting is a little off. We only got one camera. You probably really can't see me. Like, if I do this, you can't see me no more. (laughs) But we are not having technical difficulties. We are actually in the process of upgrading our current set. So next week when you tune back in, episode 11, we will be at a brand new location. So if you are watching this and not listening on Dash Radio, stay tuned for that. You are in for a treat. But as usual, I am one of your hosts. I go by the name of Steezus. To my right. Dano. To his right. John Colombo. And our special guest for the evening, Mr. Nelson Diaz. Can we get a round of applause? Woo! Thank you, thank you. That's quite the shirt you're wearing today, sir. Thank you. It says anti-fuckery. Anti-fuckboy. Anti-fuckboy sneaker club. Yeah. I'm into it. I already ordered one. Oh, did you? <laughs> no, through you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I did. So subconsciously, he already ordered yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Is that did shirt you this. made or is yeah. that something that? No, this is, a, this is a crew from East Coast, man. I yeah. saw it, and you know, I support all brands, and I just I scour for the, for the. For the little guys, yeah, and yeah, just saw it, and I was like, "Damn, that's what's up." Well, if I knew anyone that, <laughs> that said he fuck paid him, I was just about to say. Yeah, it. And yeah. if anybody hates fuck boys, it is <laughs> definitely, definitely Nelson. Yeah. I, I am anti fuck boy, so uh, and I like sneakers, True. so hence why not make it a club? Yeah, yeah. Right? hey, equal opportunity. Yeah, unless you're a fuck boy. Yeah. Uh, what you got uh, got going on, Nelson? Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, who you work with. Why you are our special guest for this evening? Uh, I'm a Pisces. Okay. I do a water sport. Makes two of us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm a talent manager, producer. Uh, uh, have a clothing store, WCSP, uh, on Melrose. Melrose. Work with the Turn boys up. over at Bait. Eric, Eric, Ron, Nick, everybody. Bait. Shout out to Bait. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I like to consider myself a connoisseur of the culture, and uh, I'm, you guys know I'm a little outspoken. And hey, that's perfect. Call them out. Going on. Yeah, call them out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, just uh, I like doing cool shit. We like producing cool shit, and uh, I have some pretty cool clients. Yeah. What's yeah. some of this, like? Who are some of the people you work with, or what's you know some some things that people would know that you've had your your hand in a little bit? Uh, so. My brother, one of my best friends, I've known him for like 17 years, Twitch. Uh, he's a DJ on Ellen, and he's mm-hmm. from So You Think You Can Dance. Uh, he's one. He was my first client, and uh, we've been rolling now for 10 years. And uh, um, his wife, Allison. Uh, we've really uh, sharpened our knives in the dance world. We rep some of the best choreographers and influencers in the world, um, like the I'm a Beast crew, Will the Beast, Janelle. Uh, the Hatala sisters, Jay Chanath, who is uh, now on the show Step Up, uh, High Water, and on YouTube. Sick. Um, and then we got, of course, my little man. I've had him since he was five and a half. Little, little baby, baby Boogaloo. Boogaloo. <laughs> Miles Brown. He's on the show Blackish. He plays Little Killing Jack. It. Yeah, he's crushing. Yeah, he's yeah. and you know what? It's uh, he. It's amazing seeing him grow, and his parents have done an excellent job. His sister's awesome. His family, his whole family's awesome. But uh, uh, you know, he did the Michael Jackson flight school last week. Oh yeah. Uh, Michael calls him out because he balls. D- D- Miles is doing so well in acting, but he's like, yeah, just so you know, I'm quitting when I'm 18, so I can go play in the NBA. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what like that. That's all dreams. his life. All his life. You know, he's the M- junior NBA ambassador. He's uh, been a correspondent for Sports Center and First Take on ESPN. So like, it's been amazing watching him grow. But wait, is that the Michael Jordan flight school? Yeah, the, you said Jackson. I was like, oh, did I yeah, say Jackson? Was, yeah, I was like, my bad. That Michael ain't calling <laughs> nobody. <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad. That's a <laughs> different kind of flight. You don't yeah. know yourself with that. So, but uh, and no kids. So uh, uh, that was a that was a mess up. I'm tired. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, well, because he does a Michael Jackson MJ Mondays. So I get it on. That's why I was thinking, like, yeah, you know, yeah, Shamo. yeah. <laughs> so, but Jordan called him out to do some shooting, and he got him to the free throw line, swish. Got him to the little layup corner, swish. Layup corner, swish. Goes to the three point line in the corner, and he had missed one shot, but he got the ball back. Mm. And Michael's mm. like, "You okay?" And Miles was like, "I got this." 
<laughs> like he's a little dude. He go. Yeah, he's mad little. Yo, yeah. yo, drains a three from the NBA line Damn. from the corner. Took all his mic. swish. I was like, probably man, winded dude, at the end of man. the day. That's crazy. <laughs> he, did, he, he left the hand up. He walked out. So but, pretty. Yeah, so, so pretty, pretty. pretty. <laughs> but uh, he's he's a he's a he's a uh, um, he's a little sneakerhead. Yeah. I've hooked him up with a couple pairs and. Oh shit! We he, need to holla at little yeah, baby yeah. boogaloo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For he's, real. He's getting his game up on the sneaker game. That's so. Dope. But yeah, that's a little bit. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. Right. What you been working on this week, Dano? Uh, Reebok porn. We post that yet? Oh, the alien. Yeah. Pred- no, Reebok we alien yet, stompers porn. Nice. Those things that are shit fun. came out sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those Important. are those are great. I got the a video mic. came out. Yeah. Dope, dope. yeah, yeah. The way that like you incorporated the filters and then you know Frankie and all them shooting out with the laser beams and all that the shit. Strobe the strobe lights fucking, and yeah. all that shit. Yeah, that shit was hard. Um, and we did a dope piece with these really limited Adidas uh, Zizus. Mm-hmm. So we're excited to share that. Yeah, Woody White had uh, got a pair of those, and uh, we pulled together a little shoot. And shot something down in the marina. It looks pretty sick. Nice. We, uh, yeah, tried to channel be... Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah, it's got a vibe like, to it. It's, it. Y'all are killing the game with that content, man. Like, yeah. trying, giving yeah. it life. trying to get more people eyeballs. Yeah, we're just yeah. trying to get it's them working. fucking eyeballs. We got the content. We just got to get the people to fuck with it. You it's know? working. Yeah. Uh, John, what you been working on? I know you had a shoot yesterday. What did I shoot yesterday? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I was with Chad Little. Mm-hmm. Dude is awesome. He was a... Uh, uh, Footwear designer at Nike and Jordan Brand, like <clears throat> one of like five dudes in the innovative kitchen with Tinker, and uh, this dude is just fucking awesome, man. He's got stories for days, and we shot a couple little things, and he took me through his like little archives of shit that he's snatched up throughout the years of samples and shit that never got oh, made, and it was yeah. fucking awesome. It was really cool. He had like the original like Jordan Six samples that were just like. Falling to pieces, oh, but like, but shit. crazy, <laughs> but crazy. Damn. Did you crazy. get to take anything home with you? Uh, yeah, he sent me home with some. He had uh, some uh, Shimizu dunks that were uh, chilling in the, in the little closet there. Damn. Me were they those. beaters, or did you get some like no, they're really dead fresh? There, yeah. Audio D. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Damn. 2004. Hell yeah. That's a come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah Dame Shimizu fucking. Wear them once. Wear them once. Ew. Fuck Are they yeah. SBs or the straight dunks? They're SBs. They're SBs. SBs. Yeah. I just want to let everyone know, too, for the, our Dash listeners, if you're listening right now, imagine the four of us huddled around like a little campfire kind of thing, because that's the vibe in here. Yeah. It's really poorly yeah. lit. Um, <laughs> very, <laughs> very cabin in the woods type very of shit. Very cabin in yeah, the woods like right now. And, and for wood. all my, yeah, my yeah, 90s yeah. kids, just yeah. imagine, are you afraid of the dark on set? Yeah. Right. If and you see me basically. blinking three times into the camera, you know I'm yeah. in trouble. <laughs> it's about to go down. Yeah. They can't help well, you. They, yeah, if they're yeah. listening, they can't see yeah. you blinking yeah. into the camera. Damn it, fuck. There's nothing so you're going to have to do some kind of like A Morse few code overweight or guys over 30 sitting around a campfire <laughs> naked night. <laughs> naked night. Naked, naked, naked night. night. There God we go. God damn. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Spetsy. man. What's our current events? Yeah. Uh, and so, again, Please bear with us. This is not our usual setup, so we are trying our best to incorporate what we have with the technology that we have at our disposal. So we are using uh, a little bit of airplay onto Dur- the television. During this transitional <laughs> during period. During our transitional period. <laughs> now, um, what popped off this week, though? We got some new Yeezy colorways. So we got the, uh, uh, what'd you call them? The R. Kelly yellow? Yeah, the R. Kelly piss, frozen yeah, the, yellow. The piss yellows. <laughs> Hey, R. Kelly edition is what I call it. R. Kelly yeah, edition. The R. Kelly edition. G- garbage. Just come on up. Just come on up. Yeah, this is... We're going to keep it going. This is, this is Dean, everybody. This is our uh, audio guy. Killing yep. the audio. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this Killing is not uh, not a formal thing, so do what you got to do, playboy. Sorry, Dean's fondling me right now. <laughs> uh, we're good to go, Dean? Hold up. <laughs> Technical difficulties, people. Please bear with us. Yeah, the R. Kelly edition Yeezys. Yeah, so oh. we got the frozen, <laughs> frozen yellows and the pissy, the true blues pissy. or not? No, not true blue. What are they? Tint, uh, blue tints. Blue yeah, tints. blue tints. Semi frozen yellow, blue tints. What y'all think? Garbage. I don't need either. I don't. Well, you yeah. don't fuck yeah. with Yeezys in general. I, I think they're both garbage. Ass. Why? I also think the maroon ones coming out are garbage. The but what about that little uh, fucking rainbow? 
coral, whatever that is. Yeah, that the, 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 the women's what? one. No, no, no. There's a potential the, women's the 350 one. coral that are coming. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was just popped up like today. Yeah. That was yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. Is that what you're talking about? I just, yeah. I like, I just, I think, I, I'm just, I mean, I'm opinionated. I just, I no, think, sure, he, that's why I think he, I think he's lost the mojo. You know. Do you think it's him that's doing this, or do you think it's a team? He's wearing them. Of course. He was spotted wearing the, uh, the piss yellows. That today. looks like the guy that eats uh, fruity pebbles yeah. out of them. Like that's what his after. That is. looks like yeah. that looks like a tube television trying to watch <laughs> HD. Uh, like that cut. I don't know what y'all are saying. It looks like a fucking strawberry shortcake. Well, roll it's to a me. terrible. And I want, it, it, I want everything to do with that. It's that a is terrible like a strawberry photo. shortcake. Yeah. They're really harsh. Top I just, I don't think they're trying hard enough. I I think it's like why not, so many? No. We're not not even. It's, you know, like I'm a big Pharrell fan. I don't yeah. think there's any shoe that Pharrell's made that I haven't gotten. Going back to the BBCs and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost wore my fucking ice creams today, too. I was I'm about to wear my you. horse. You keep saying the horse hair. I know. I swear to God, I'll put them on, but my... Oh, that's the, that's uh, the pony so hair? Yeah, yeah, I was about to wear my pony hairs today. Damn. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to pull them out. I'm just going to wear something I just picked up. Yeah. But I just, I think with, I think with these, it's just... And it's th funny you say that because... What you're wearing right now is very reminiscent of, <laughs> of that shit. The color tones are That's reminiscent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 But not the style. No, no, no. no. You know, well, what's true. the yeah. difference, though? I mean, I not, mean, I mean obviously, there's a huge, <laughs> there's a huge <laughs> difference. There's but a I'm gigantic saying, prime knit versus a, but, okay, so a leather. With yeah. that color being what it is and what you're wearing, with, if you can't see, he's wearing a pair of uh, Air Max yeah. 7. I don't know what the colorway is. The flesh. flesh. You guys want to yeah. trade like one shoe each? Um, yeah. It'll look great. Oh, there we go. You guys look great. Oh, no. No, I mean, you know, uh, you're not fucking with the. I'm also an old head. So, like, 97s oh, yeah. are. Sure. That's that comfy, the, the everyday. You think that's comfy? Uh, yeah, I do. But also, <laughs> I have heel issues. What else you got for us? I'm fucking up now. My oh, battery. All right, so I think that there's a little bit. There's too much. It's like, all right, cool. We know this works. Let's keep fucking doing it. Yeah, it's oversaturation. Yeah. Dude, it's too much. It's yeah. too much. And it's it's not changing anything. I mean, in my opinion, they should already be a V3. It should already, we should be off this. Yeah, we should be off this. It should be V3. The, you know, the runners that he made look like Rafe Simmons, very similar oh, yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah, And they look very similar to Nike Air Monarchs. If you put an Air Monarch <laughs> next to his runner. We no. You know, the monarch, yeah, we did the yeah. whole like, yeah, you know, just we it's did like, that. Uh, we created that <laughs> meme. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just it's one of that those that wasn't things. me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot deeper voice. You know, it just I, I the creative and I love Ye, but the creative juices just aren't flowing. See, it's funny you say that because a lot of those tennis HUs that popped up, I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? All those crazy really? co too. I feel the same way you feel about the easy about those tennis HUs. Really? You mean the latest this is, ones? So, so yeah. I'll tell All you why. Similar tones. I'll yeah. tell you why I don't, because that's not. He, they just came out. The new tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. They just came out. The the V two's been running almost a year. That's what I'm saying. So do, I think so, 2018. Yeah. Is when they'll probably do it. If they do a V three, is probably when they'll do that. So that'll mean that we'll be in V two phase for o almost a year and a half, going into 2018. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's like. That's too long of a cycle well, to also, stick to, to a version two. So, like, the reason with the Pharrells, you know, the fly knit patterns that Nike's doing, all that, it's the same. That Mexican blanket yeah. pattern that just came out, it's mm -hmm. the same. Of course. I love what I love about the the Pharrells, the huge, the tennis shoes right now, is that at least they're doing something with the sole. They're adding up like they had the they had that teal blue with that gray and the black mm -hmm. kind of like uh, cement vibe. They're trying. It's like let, I mean, let, if we want to get technical, right? Yeah. Then they put the heel tab on the back of the V2, so that's technically that's 2.0, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, yeah, 2.1. But the 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 world is calling all of them V2. No, absolutely, yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like there there's there's not enough variation for me. It's just mm -hmm. you know. See, I'm a, I I agree to an extent. Um, I'm not a fan. Like when the Belugas drop, and I know this is an unpopular opinion, but everybody loved the Belugas. I hate them. I don't like that fucking no. wavy shit. It works on the zebras, mm -hmm. but when they're doing that with every other one, exactly. I don't think that that's as creative as they. That's did. that's that's a designer mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, I'm just gonna take that gray out. Right. I'm gonna put blue. Yeah. I'm gonna take that blue out. I'm gonna put red." Mm -hmm. 
and not just not doing something different. Yeah. Like the future forwards that are coming out, like they, at least they're doing a, an iteration yeah. of a '97. Sure. That's just a subtle difference. See, you know, I mean, you're absolutely right. You know, I, I'm not a fan of those. We were talking about those earlier when we the saw the future those silver, The no, the, no, 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 like, the '97, '97, the future forwards. We, they oh, had right. like the silver ones. I think. I was yeah, it's all like one piece. Yeah. Because yeah. I had a pair I don't know. of. Um, Are you saying you like those? I'm saying it. They're they're, they're doing, doing something, something different. different. Sure. Yeah, it's, which Nike is always good at because they'll do like an engineered mesh version. They do great right. updates of yeah, the classics. Of the classics. Yeah. yeah. Man, speaking of doing something different though, that uh, the shoe surgeons, that pink NMD? rose, oh. Yeezy that he did. Oh yeah. That he, I think he just put the pictures today. Oh okay, I haven't seen. Wait, I haven't yet. seen that. Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about the Jordan. So Ford. fire, but this I is like right in my wheel. I too am wearing those Python MDs he today. just put out. Man, those look fantastic. Those were hard. I got a pair of frags he did. That that are fire, fire, yeah, fire. Shit. Yeah, I was gonna rock those tonight. Shout out to Dom, he does really great work. But yes, you know. But, but, didn't feel like <laughs> wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are they so they pink rose? I think pink rose Yeezys? Is that what they were? Rose, rose, yeah. Rose. Yeah. Just I don't go, know. just I find his seen. Instagram. Yeah, well, we're, we're looking for those, but yeah, it's all good. Um, um, but I want you guys to be able to see it. Isn't yeah, no, it? yeah, I definitely want to check him super out. Super dope. I just haven't seen any Yeezys that he's. I don't think has he done Yeezys before? I yeah. think he did. Uh, he did one. There was a cat. Ooh, oh, there we oh go. my god! There was I've a cat. Seen this. Whoa! In, do you know who did it in Europe? No. They like did. They did the Yin and Yang uh, Yeezys, B ones. Because you're taking was a sock. black on one side, white on the other. Oh, split down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super I did dope. see those. Okay, yeah. but what I I'm saying is, is like, this is a this is a scenario of doing something different. Yeah. You know. Sure. I mean, I mean but at the same time, it's like, like I mean, just to put it in perspective, how Nikes do the premium line. Right. Mm -hmm. They could easy could easy do a premium line. Yeah, and but add you're taking a an athletic like sock like fit it, like. But this is not meant snug. to be an athletic shoe. I know, but it'll it'll look all shoe. floppy and shit. Yeah, I I'm not saying you're gonna do anything athletic in it, but it sucks down to your foot for a reason. I don't think it's reason. Be any like, more floppy or not. Trying like to put that game. on, I don't feel is going to be. It won't be easy. It won't be like, given. There's no give. There's right. no give. It'll yeah. fit totally different. Yeah, and I I'm think we need to get one in hand to see if that's really the case, because maybe he has some sort of liner in there or something. So it's like stretching. Ain't no so liner like in, between, make the in between every scale like, is a no, little yeah, bit of no, 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 no. That would be dope. Like, like some accordion type yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> like that, what's that, that dinosaur? The like velociraptor. That, oh, the velociraptor. <laughs> like every time you pull it, it just. Is there another like angle, uh, Jack, we can look at? Or just the back. So he didn't really. I'm a fan of that NMD. Yeah, see, I fucks with the NMDs. I'm not a fan of or whatever to me. I'm just kind of like, eh. But yes, that's what's because he did the scales on the EVA plugs. Same thing, but this looks better to me, where it's not as stretchy. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. still like you're replacing the sock. Yeah, because yeah, if this material. was a, a PK NMD, it would be a completely different thing. But since the base of it is the mesh one, I feel like it works well. Plus, I'm a total sucker for black, red, and white shoes. So this, yeah, yeah, it gets me there. I do see. I appreciate the fact that he did the, the, the Python on the plugs. Oh yeah, that is like the selling point for me. That makes the whole shit. Absolutely, because you don't expect that. Yeah, it looks wild. It looks great. I don't know. I just I love the I, switched of the skin right there on the toe to like the upper panel. You see that line? That oh goes yeah, over you're it? right. It looked. I love the that. The big little, scales on the toe and then the smaller ones on the yeah, like that toe. Where those two things meet, it looks fucking awesome. Man, good job, Dom. Yeah, yeah good those job. are. I don't know why. I'm in so the fucking tongue me. tab too. It's the same thing as the other one. Yo, it's shout easy. out to all these snakes that are sacrificing their lives. <laughs> yeah. 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 All the shit that fucking shoe surgeon makes. They should be so lucky. <laughs> Thank you, India. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, fucking, but all this easy talk, Matt Powell from the MPD group was saying how, <laughs> yeah, I know, it's it's comical. Do we have a photo of Matt Powell just so we can get yeah, some I context? Yeah, he just had one up a second ago. Um, and then someone please just <laughs> describe <him laughs> of, of what this gentleman looks like. He looks like, uh, what's it, the boss of Homer Simpson at the nuclear plant Mr. site, but Burns? with a little bit more of a chin. Uh, I he looks like say, Mr. Magoo. Yeah, he's he kind of like a Mr. Magoo, Magoo vibe. Got a Magoo vibe. He got a Magoo vibe. He's it looks like he, he got stung on the nose by like 72 bees. He looks like a, like a seventh grade chemistry teacher. 
Absolutely. He's eating his yeah. lower yeah. lip. He ain't got no lips to eat. He's eating the Jeff lower lip. Sessions' like, brother. You know who he looked like? He looked like um, one of them turtles from SpongeBob that be in the. Uh... Yeah, who's that guy that they keep making fun of on <laughs> Dizzy Miro? With that, with the, so this. Yeah, uh, McConnell with the fucking turtle mouth. He's the only reason why this plays, I think, about what he looks like. I don't know. I mean. I yeah, guess. no. This it does play because. Imagine this your is where, this high school. Imagine your high school chemistry teacher wearing a fucking uh, Canadian tuxedo trying <laughs> to tell you what's cool. Right, but he's like, you know, he's, he's, he looks, he's in his, I would say, 60s, He's 66. Right? He's 66 years old. Uh, he's got the, you know, the tortoiseshell glasses on. He's completely bald and gray. And he has very, very... Glasses are kind of Those fly, big, though. big, <laughs> those red, glasses are kind old of fly. guy ears. He's got that big ear, like his ear. He has lobe. very big ear. <laughs> he he has taken it down ear. to his shoulder. So I just want to give everybody a and a big bulbous nose. Yes. So I just want to give everybody an idea of who's representing the culture. Exactly. So right hold now. that that image burned in your mind, and his, imagine his this. Like a seashell. He uh, Ooh, <laughs> he had an interview with GQ recently where <laughs> he argued the fact that Yeezys are limited. And that is exactly what makes them not cool. Uh, he also states that celebrity endorsements aren't a good use of brands' money because they <laughs> don't bring in commercial numbers, um, like the type of numbers that an Adidas superstar does. The interview ends by uh, stating that Matt Powell does not wear sneakers. So now, he clearly does not get what made the superstar cool. Well, I was having with. a conversation with our producer, Jack, the other day. And if you think about it, like, I get his points of, yeah, Yeezys are limited. They, if they made a million of them, they would make so much more money, yada, right, yada, based yada. based on the numbers. Right. But that's what, like, that's the part that being an analyst, you are not of the culture, and you don't understand what's considered cool. Obviously, cool is subjective, regardless. But I don't think that superstars are cool, because if you look at it now, if we were to walk down just through Manhattan Beach, all we would see is... 14 to 25 year old white girls wearing white shell toes, black stripe with the gold tab. That, regardless of how the superstar started, you know, Run DMC bringing it to the light, making it cool in the, in the era that they had, uh, the fact that you can just walk into a store, order them online or whatever, and they're readily accessible, which he mentions in that article, mm -hmm. to me, almost lowers the cool factor, and this is my opinion, right? because there is no there's no limitation to it. There's no like you but don't see, get that's, that. But that's feeling. that's your see right. that's your parameter for cool. Absolutely. Right. That's so what I say. It's my to, opinion. To me, like limit limited editions aren't the value of cool. Okay. Right. To me, what makes you feel that way? Because it's like the cool part should be how they make you look and feel. That so, so, that's, so that gets so, to my point too. Absolutely. So it's like so if it is a bunch of fourteen to twenty five year old white girls or whoever mm -hmm. wearing them that that makes them feel cool. His issue is, is that he thinks money's cool. Exactly. So, exactly. so he's not. He's doing market research based on numbers. The numbers. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Based on the money. So, if he, if you're an analyst doing market research on the financial aspect, you're not going to think Yeezys are cool because mm -hmm. they're not reaching the numbers. Absolutely. Of I get a superstar yeah. that sold at Journeys and right. All those. No, so, but almost yeah. like a losing. Shoe. Yeah. So, so, so to them, the sure. dollars don't matter. Right. right. But see, to me, and that, in, to in, your point, like yeah. that. The limited thing, I don't really care so much about it being limited, but that feeling. Don't get me wrong, you know I do enjoy a nice. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't think stunt. that's. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that's the parameter for cool. No, but that feeling of knowing that you got through. Yeah. And you were able to get that shoe yeah. because numbers no. were small and you're sure. against the odd with bots yeah. and all that. No, it's totally that's part that of it. feeling yeah. that that's so. Cool me. And and. The, me and you are in the, we're the same head like yeah. on that shit like we've been in this game for a long time right. and that hunt yeah, is what makes it cool to you yeah. yep right Anti fuck boys right. have ruined that yeah. yeah so with because all they care about is having a bot or running a bot mm -hmm. i know resellers that spend 30 40,000 dollars a year just buying bots right. so they can get the shoe into their right. resale shop yeah. that's fuck boyish yeah you know, absolutely. So it's like, you know, I don't have a problem calling out resellers. You know, and I'll, I enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy a nice sale nice or two, flip, but, yeah. but I'm not gonna flip them for three times the price. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not gonna sell a shirt for fifteen hundred dollars. Speak on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's so to me, it's like I think he has a point. Mm -hmm. Talking to the 
the money people, talking right. to the people, talking to the most of the people that read GQ, because also we have to factor in the audience that he's speaking to. Yeah, GQ is not the sneaker audience. GQ is the audience that's twenty eight and above. Post where, streetwear. Post streetwear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like his audience is going to understand that because they understand that he's talking about it from a financial point of view. Of From school, a granddad right? perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> no. Because no, no, no. my granddad is going to give me these shares of Adidas and he's going to say, your shares like, made money because of a superstar. Yeah. You know? I also right. think one of the things he could be kind of getting at is like, it's kind of cool that people who are who are super into this can still be excited about a fresh pair of superstars yeah. mm -hmm. and then so can the 14 year old girl down the street exactly who doesn't know anything about the culture but she just like these are cute and cool and all the girls at school have them or whatever right it's and you know you'll, cool you'll see them and you'll be like all that's what's up there. you know what i mean you sometimes that whole yeah. spectrum yeah i'm yeah. totally with you on the exclusivity yeah thing. like it's part of the rush of like you don't have this it's just mm -hmm. like that's part of the game that's to me the limit yeah. the limit um back in the day like a black sheep or mm -hmm. you know a staple the lobster series, mm -hmm. you know, it was just different with the hunt back then. Yeah. And so nowadays it's just, you know, when you see so many rich kids flossing gear on I was about to internet that, and YouTube point. and all that point, money kicks? it's not cool. Well, I, I have no, no I'll no. tell you, Money Kicks is an entrepreneur, bro. Money Kicks is bringing in companies into Dubai. Like he's signing papers, like he's putting his money where his mouth is. He's bringing in like, Brands that he likes from around the world and opening up stores, mm -hmm. so that's that's a different thing. He's not. I used to really love Benjamin Kicks. I used to love him a lot. I used to like his steeds, but now it's like it, he's either. He, I think he's hanging out with Migos too much, and you can't hear a word he says. <laughs> and 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 he talks about you know I'm just not trying to floss. Dog, you're flossing every day, yeah. and it's, that's not what this culture is about. Because guess what? You would have got ganked in 2005 in New York. Mm -hmm. Mike would have ganked you. You know what I mean? Get Vandal. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. that's real talk. Yeah. And it's it's just like, so you, you got a lot of these young kids that are that are messing with the culture side of things. Mm -hmm. So therefore, someone can write this. I agree. And I, I you, think you that know? a lot of what's happened to kind of what you, you touched on initially was like, there used to be a a code like when you saw somebody in the street that has some ill shit like you acknowledged one another right now if you see somebody in a pair of yeezys you don't really think that they actually know what they're doing they just have well, access every it, blake linder's dad wears yeezys right i'm not gonna go up to him and be like yo dr linder that's just dope that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> no so there's there has literally changed, nothing like, dope about it there's nothing dope, because guess what? He's wearing it with fucking slacks, homie. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. And it's not about the numbers either, because it could be a pair of sneakers that's way less expensive or has less value, but the heads will know what's up, yeah. and you could get yeah. that look and that nod that he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And it's not because the Yeezy has no, that has no value in the street to me, like, yeah. as far as... Hey, all hype, all hype aside, though, them motherfuckers is mad comfortable, though. I can't yeah, the boot? <laughs> Yeezys, yeah. yeah. I, I think they're comfy as shit. I think, yeah. I think Adidas did a great job with the Boost series. Like, Absolutely. I think that technology, they've done a great they job. It, yeah, There's better than no what they've done with tubular. The, the tubular stuff is a little to too stiff I for me. I had one pair of tubulars. I would fucking yeah. roll my ankles in them. Yeah, it's, a, the it's a little too stiff for me. Yeah. Some of the Y3 Terrible. stuff yeah. I'll, I'll fuck with, but... Nothing else, but yeah. Yeah, no, I get where he's coming from, and as a number cruncher, somebody who's paid to analyze <laughs> this fucking picture, man. He looks like a numbers <laughs> cruncher. Straight up. Hold on, yeah. I'm gonna take. But it just. <laughs> I'll tell you right post now. Post <laughs> zoom in on him. <laughs> I'll tell you I right look now. Look at that smug ass <laughs> smirk too, though. Uh, you know what? You know you know what that smirk is right there. Hey, you know what that smirk is? That smirk is my 401k is straight. Oh yeah. That's what he that smirk he is. He ain't right tripping. There. He's not that. tripping. He ain't got look, he don't even take care of his eyebrows. <laughs> That's awful. Come look on, at bro. that, bro. <laughs> he Man got about skate. seven hairs in there. Yeah. Now he's looking into my soul. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but that. But see, I've seen similar things like this happen in skateboarding, where somebody will come in, take over a company. We'll use DC Shoes as an example. They'll look at a Ken Block or a Rob uh. and see how much money they're making, and they need to fucking trim the fat 
So they're like, well, why are these dudes getting paid so much? Cut their pay or cut them entirely. But then what happens to the brand? The brand fucking plummets. Exactly. Because they make, they sell so many mm-hmm. shoes yeah. and they make such a strong yeah. mark for that brand that that money that they're, they're making is warranted. And so here, here's the case of the international market. Adidas is such an international brand mm-hmm. that you take away an American star and it doesn't matter. Because of shoes like the superstar. Because of the shoes yeah. like the superstar. No, I agree. I agree. So it's like so you know that's the difference between a strong international brand and you know a brand that is dope in the U.S. Mm-hmm. but niche, and then they don't know what they're doing. It happened with Airwalk. I'm, Airwalk was my first addiction. Yeah. But you know when the collective got them, things didn't go right. Mm-hmm. So it's like. So what do you think about like um, all these brand ambassadors like Adidas today just put out a new. Oh my God! You saw with Twenty One, with Party Twenty One, Thugger. Like, do you think that Mm -hmm. these athletes, these ambassadors, are make? Because he he disagrees that they're important to these brands. Do you think that they make enough noise to warrant the paychecks that they're getting? Or I'm gonna say no. Actually, dude, this is a fucking sick commercial. It's sick commercial, but it costs more than what they'll probably make if they put this this put this out. Like, it's just like to me, I think they put ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag in this campaign. Mm Let me see it. I, it. I like it, but see, I think that Kendall Jenner wearing a pair of shell toes, superstars, for those yeah. that aren't will have... More of an impact. More of an impact. And because she is guess who she, Guess who she's reaching? That fucking... 14, 14. That, that you're exactly. watching. That's exactly. what I'm saying. That's, so mm-hmm. are, they st- are they now cool because they did it because of Kendall? That's the perception of cool. Yeah. No, I, but that's the thing. That's yeah, the thing. no, it's all... To me, it's like, you know, I'm not a 21 Savage fan. Mm-hmm. I, He's not an Adidas. He's not an Adidas head, to to my knowledge. Yeah. No, you I know? saw him in the tracksuit, and I was just like, "Is that yeah. even what you would wear?" I, exactly. No, it's a I blouse. Felt. Immediately, you know what I mean? Felt. It's just like, to me, it's like this can is we play, can we this play is it? this is misappropriation of a culture, you know. And and this is like, let me find the flyest mumble rappers in the world. Mm-hmm. Let me get a good looking Kardashian slash Jenner. Yeah. And let me spend some money to make a super artistic art piece mm-hmm. that is beautiful. They did a great job. Yeah. But and let's speak for our highest paid athlete, James Harden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put that. Let's put let's put Harden in there. Yeah. But it to me, it's like I can see what why Powell says something like this, and I see this. Mm-hmm. I saw this this morning, and I'm like, why? Why is everybody in this one video? Yeah. Jack, were you just I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed their campaign last year. Where it was just a bunch of nobodies walking. It's like like it's like Green Street hooligans. Yeah, Do you yeah, remember yeah. that campaign? They're walking through, uh, they're walking through like concert stuff. They're walking through the woods, through them decrepit neighborhood alleyways, tunnels, and it was just so raw and uncut. And I'm like, that's Adidas. It's not about who the ambassador is, you know. Unless you're doing a line, unless you're running like Pusha T's. Yeah, right. Like mm-hmm. I think Pusha. To me, my favorite collabs with Adidas are Push and Pharrell, you know, and like that. But that's so targeted. Yeah. This is for money. I, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't I know. Wish I, I shot th- this. <laughs> it's, so, it's super. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a, it's it looks beautiful. No. Yeah. They've been killing their visuals lately. No. Yeah. I, I I think, I think a lot of what's happening now is that, and we see it not even just in in this realm, but. His the sneaker on. world is so mainstream and so huge right now that a lot of these big brands are trying to tap into the mainstream. The mainstream. Yeah. And they're they're trying to tap into these artists that are popping right now. And is Young Thug in the little car? Yeah, because that's from the, oh, the fucking man. video you that's did. Fucking yeah. Funny. Or didn't do for that. Well, yeah, we're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. That's even more funny to me right now. But yeah, I, that it I actually happened in the Adidas video. Yeah. I see both sides of the coin, though. I think I try and do that for a lot of things where I can understand why they're doing this, but I also understand the opposite side. Oh, they want to push the limits. They want right. to. They, they want to. But I like this. That's the other campaign. That yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. They yeah, want to work for that. The, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that, that's so sick. So I, I, I came to, up with that little him in the little car thing. Yeah, to, to me, <laughs> <laughs> not salty at all. Yeah. <laughs> it just got salt. real salty. Little salt. Little salt. Uh, yeah, I mean. I think he has a point, yeah. but again, it's all relative comparative to if you're talking about success with the amount of money or mm-hmm. the margins. Yeah. But uh, to me, who's making the killing on the Yeezys of the resellers? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, not Adidas. You well, know? they just did, um, you know, like the restock on the zebras and all that. Do you think they're getting smart to like 
hold back a little bit of stock and then put some more out to because that the zebra was at that point yeah uh, like 1100 yeah 1, yeah I, I it is it is kind of to me my opinion i think all resellers are going bash it crazy right now they have to be it, they're yeah. they're just they're going lunatic i'm looking at some of the prices mm -hmm. like 1200 bucks for already worn turtle doves right i'm like man and, and you don't even <laughs> you don't even clean them yeah. when you put them on the images. are you kidding me you can't even use like some crap or some you know some mark little wipes on that right. heel you say boom pre-worn 1200 there there needs to be uh a standards and practices mm -hmm. like you know it's not going to happen because you yeah. got so many people buying into goat and StockX and all those mm -hmm. companies are making mad money and then now it's going to happen you know like I got love for Urban, I got love for Mag Park, but like they're, they're some of their shit's going bash shit crazy. Yeah. Like it's, it's it's too expensive, and then you have places like I'm not fans of like Cool Kicks and all these others that, like, dude, they, no one likes Cool Kicks. I don't know anyone that likes that I'm, store. Yeah, Blake Linder have, likes Cool Kicks. Yeah, well, I don't like Blake. Don't, that's your boy. Know, <laughs> fuck Blake Linder, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even Shots know. fired. I actually oh. just saw this morning that Flight Club is now doing. Um, Worn consignment too. Really? Like before they were just yeah. like yeah. DS. Yeah, exactly. Now they, wow. yeah. I saw something about Look, that. I industry. remember going in there and trying to sell some shoes, and they were like, "What the hell?" Like I got the whole attitude. I mean, this was fucking like. Yeah. Worn is in now. I mean, vintage has always been in. This this like pre use is in. Like Sean at round. I love I love round two, and I love Sean. I mean, yeah. like he kills it with. This is what I. Th this is why I think he's separated from everybody else. This dude hits a flea market every weekend. Yeah. yeah and like he, he he's a curator. Yeah. He's a curator. Yeah. He's Almost not she. waiting he's not waiting for someone to bring him some supreme or set stuff. the trend for him. Or or yeah. You know what I'm so and he's by no means a, a fashion icon. No. You but know he, what I'm but saying? yo, he's Sharp fashion dresser. forward. Sharp yeah. dressing. <laughs> but Sean is out there at fucking four o'clock in the morning on, on, on Rose Bowl Sunday. Yeah. And mm. with a fucking Looking headlamp through. on yeah. going through people's shit before it opens. Yeah. It's it's insane. You know what I'm saying? And that's and the shit that's 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 I, what separates it. Yeah. And so I think there's that, a hustle there. Still. I think that pre-worn arrows coming in. You got like off-white. I'm not a fan of off-white clothing. I think Virgil is a better architect than he's a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. He's a, you know, but I like the ones and I like the Vapor Max for the the those deconstruct yeah the, uh, the, the 90s i'm not a like fan of those I'm those are the ones i like the most Dude, that, I'm not, i think I, the I don't tongue, like any of them but I the, tongue the tongue is wild i love I, tongue. I think the tongue is a little too messed up and you'll have people get mad at it because it's going to get exposed to the to to the weather it's going to get mm -hmm. it's going to get dirty yeah. it's like you're exposing the in, the the spongy part right it's you inspired can't me though i want to like change i want to rip off a tongue but so that's what i'm saying is like that deconstruct that you know Adidas has done it with a few people, that same kind of similar steve, yeah. you know, the zippers on the outside, exposed on the ends, all that stuff. The acronyms. Yeah, the so the acronyms, yeah. So I, th I think I think that Here, the, look, use, I the use the couture, I think that's like that's the Yo, so <clears throat> right now I'm showing a picture oh, yeah. of some uh some one of one uh, Jordan Ooh. ones that <laughs> Chad Little made while he was at Nike and he showed me these yesterday uh. in person. And basically what he did was he pitched the idea of doing a, a ones, twos, and threes. Are these the uh, ones he gave you? No, no, no he no, didn't. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> wow. I was only like, I'm like, what, do you take PayPal? <laughs> no, he, he wanted to do ones, twos, and threes like deconstructed. Wow. And basically took a vintage military uh, canvas bag and made it into a Jordan 1. Now that's super collapsible like like a Chuck Taylor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that is, that's really deconstructed. That's beautiful though. Um, and he did a, a great job on it, and then, you know, but they were kind of very like anti the idea, and then now, of course, that's <clears throat> oh, they've the got whole that whole idea. Yeah, that whole the whole Air Force <laughs> series. You know, it's crazy the the series because they they no, started. but even just the the decon the twos, twos and, yeah. and this Virgil stuff and this looks but even so but to, good to me, the decon twos are still they're still they're they're, they're, they're still, premium as fuck, they're premium and they have fuck. stability in yeah, the upper. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's not collapsible like that. Like that's literally yeah. like that's literally you could pack that. But in. But his idea was to make. Something that people could afford that was really cheap to make that still looked really cool and it could travel easy and it was just kind of like a yeah. beater that was still That's a Jordan beautiful. that was dope that you could sell for 60 bucks. Yeah. And they were like, no. No. <laughs> Not high enough. <laughs> Not, you know, it's brands know their price points, you know. 
even though that may have cost them two forty to make two dollars and forty cents, you know? Yeah. Like they know their price points. Yeah, it's that's you know the shit that bugged me out when I was talking to him yesterday was that, I mean there was a lot of things that bugged me out when I was talking to him, but like <laughs> one of them being like, so as a designer, he's creating the shoe to the specs that of what he sees and wants to feel as far as different textures and yeah. uh, materials and shit and it, nothing crazy, but like they'll shift and change the shoe. So basically, like he'll he'll make the shoe and sample it out and it'll go through a couple rounds and. People will have to take make notes on design and stuff, and it'll get tailored in. And then, like last thing that happens is the money people come in <laughs> and <laughs> survey the shoe and how much every piece of material costs. Right. And you know the duties on how much it is to bring this rubber in and that yeah. and this and that and whatever, and all this shit. And they'll be like, no, we'll we'll change this because this is a little bit cheaper to bring in, and they, we'll change oh, this to this material because this is cheaper. And Fuck it starts to get crazy. Yeah, wow. but but the craziest shit was that he CDB, said they'll though. do it for a penny. Yeah. For one penny. If the shoe cost. is one penny cheaper to make, they will change the material on the fucking shoe. A penny. If I think about make, it. If, if they made 100,000 pairs, what I'm saying. they're only saving $1,000 across the board globally. 1000 bucks. But you're, you're talking about shareholders. So that, that one penny across 40 silhouettes... After a while, adds <laughs> make up. a better shoe. Make a better shoe. A thousand you bucks. Would, you would think over so, but again, that's pairs. that's a major brand. I totally agree. As a consumer, that's a major brand. You would think because that's a big complaint with a lot of shoes lately, especially like Jordan brand and things that Nike's doing is the materials are not. Well, the they've same. replaced. I was the they've replaced a lot of the yeah. leathers. Yeah. You know. So hearing that is just like it fucking makes sense now. Yeah. But it's also, I mean, it's again for business for them. It's like they're able now to give you. You know, you have Lexus and Toyota. You yeah. pay for the upcharge. Yeah. So you have a Jordan 1, and then you have a Jordan 1 Premium. Yep, sure. So the Pinnacle they're, Series. The Pinnacle yeah. Series, all that stuff. So they're able then to upcharge. More. It's like double. Yeah, it's, it's more but than the, double. You you but then they're, but they're using, like, some of the same materials that they used on the regular ones. Exactly. So, but exactly. to today's consumer, it's high end. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 it, all perception and the words that they use and the way that they promote those yeah. things is that. But then you look at like those five the fucking the tape premium, flight, like the premiums tape and flight, all those yeah. like the different ones they're doing. Them shits are just sitting, sitting mm -hmm. like that type of stuff. So it makes sense in a in a way that they do these you know materials that are cutting and you know cutting costs and even if it's a penny and all that because the ones that are the price points that have the materials that people are asking for aren't selling. Aren't selling. So they blew yeah. fucking hundreds right. of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Because now sense. they're going to go to fucking... They're going to go to outlets. They're going to go to outlets, yep. exactly. And sell... They won't the make price. a higher margin, but they're not losing money. Well, they true. Won't, they, true. Won't make, they, they just won't make a higher margin. Yeah. Right. You know, so the money they're making, even at the outlet, they're still making... They're still getting their, their, their cost. Yeah, their, yeah. Least, their wholesale value yeah. back. They're, they're, they're happy. Yeah. And then they're selling it at their own store. So it's like they're basically just getting the kickback of all the shoes that didn't sell at their third-party retailers. retailers. Yeah. Well, what was that? There was something that popped up recently. I think I did a story on it where Nike, all across the board, they were allowing stores to cut an extra 20% off of already marked down do something. Like, like, it was there was confusing. a mistake. Yeah, there was, there was right. a, it's, right. I want to say something happened. It was a customer service thing, and that's why they oh, lowered okay. the prices for a while. Oh, okay. So th it was an issue with a release, and they gave, because of the release issue, they gave a 20% discount for a short period of time. No, you're thinking about when they oh, fucking that was cut the, the 15s open and uh -huh. they saw that they didn't have a, a full-length airbag. No, I'm talking about, like, this year, they released a shoe, and they had several reports of shoes arriving with mold. Oh, that's, oh that, that was the... Yeah, and immediately when that happened... Immediately when that, immediately when that happened, what was that? 13s. Um, yeah, yeah, immediately when that happened, they gave a discount across the board. Gray toes? No, they no. were white... No, I want to say they were white. Yeah, no, they were white. They yeah. were white. They were white. The white ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm trying to look at photos it. Yeah. yeah, like super. I do remember that though, that because yeah. that was a. I did a story yeah. on that one as well. Yeah. But I don't know. I just Nike is Nike is always going to be top tier. You know, they're always going to be doing great things. But I do feel, you know, over the last few years, and I think a lot of that is because Adidas is barking at the heels. A lot of stuff has kind of falling off a little bit in my opinion like yeah. it's kind of it just Nike's coming hard I think harder this year than they did last year mm -hmm. last year they 
kind of like were laying in a hammock. It was the Chicago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They, they were laying. Yeah. They were laying in a hammock a little bit, relaxing, and Adidas kind of like crept up on them. Mm -hmm. You know, this year they're putting out. I mean, at least they're trying. Even if they're failing, they're putting out a lot of that Pinnacle series, the premium. They're trying, yeah. They're like the stuff they're doing with those the the special forces, mm -hmm. like the. the I like stuff I mean, like it's that. Like yeah. stuff, I mean, they're they're being as they're being pretty creative. Yeah. Whether that's going to hit or not, at least they're giving people something, and that's what it. I like this twelve o'clock boys shit. Oh, 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 those are fire. Oh, yeah. day. Those are hard. All <laughs> day, bro. They're, and that's. <laughs> did you see the ones that are coming out afterwards with like that that orange mesh? Like that military oh, mesh with uh, the green toes. What? what it's are we nasty. About? What are, what are the Pull them up, Jack. I don't know what you like. Pull what, up. Just 12 o'clock boys, special field, uh, yeah. Air Force One. Well, I mean, back to fucking Mad Powell. I hate to give him props, but um, he tweeted out a few hours ago, year to date, Adidas has greater share in U.S. sport footwear than uh, Jordan brand. However, this could change in the back to school and holiday season. Uh, and then he also says Fucking Adidas is hard. And look at this. Yeah. What is so, so the thing, this, this is the. It's Looks almost like, like it's almost like Linex. Like rubberized. So, yeah. It's, it's so it's to protect the toes from oh, changing shit. gears on your bike. Yeah. So it's like like you look oh, like at that again, rhino spray. Like, yeah, you put yes, on like a Linex, truck cab. It's like Linex. So like Ooh. you look at the you look at the textures here, breathable. Fucking hard. You know, let not letting your toes sweat, and then this right here, is, you're not your feet aren't fucking with the heat, mm. or they're getting damaged by changing gears. Gear, yeah. Yeah. Like that, like that's that is great craftsmanship. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what this does? This is again Nike making an attempt with a lot of the silhouettes, not a lot of the silhouettes, but a lot of the colorways and the differentials that they're going to come out with this style. They're getting in that customizable look phase. Like yeah. I, I don't low, know the uh, name. Text on the strap there too is very. Yeah. Uh, well, and it comes with two straps. They, one says like rise up and. It's like it's dope. Oh, that's very supreme esque. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. The raise supreme, it, raise it up. Ones. You know. Wait, is that a strap or is that under the flat? Like the No. Yeah, I, I think they have it oh, flipped no, up, it's, yeah. It's a strap. It's a strap that goes around it. it. Yeah. They flipped it up so they could show the zipper. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah the I'd, zipper is everything though too. Because them motherfucking that that's goes into Top five hardest shoes to put, put on, on ever <laughs> is the fucking yeah. the SF yes. Air Force One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the last shoes that I went out to like actually got in a fucking line for. Yeah, yeah remember we got the yeah, that undefeated. Which one? The um, like the All Star joints or whatever. The green or the, the green ones that we got. Not yeah. All Star. Was that? No, those didn't drop around. You got the ones that fucking. The desert camo. Yeah, I got the desert camo ones too, but the green ones were the jam. Desert no, camo. No, the ones that you had at fucking those weren't special. The oh, SFs. you're talking about the Lux. Lux. That's what I was the thinking. Of. Yeah. Yeah. You got to oh, kind of dislocate yeah. your ankle to yeah, stop. I had those. Those <laughs> are on ankles. <laughs> yeah, you can slowly slide. You just got to get one of them shoehorns. Yeah, like the Lux, the long one, ones like uh, <laughs> Mr. Belvedere. Never since. Or never since. Yeah. yeah, this is fun. This yeah. is I like fun. talking shit. Yeah. Hey, I told you, man. This is this is yeah. what it is, man. It's the Thank you guys back. for like. I'm, I'll get I'll get some hate, but it's all good, y'all. Really? No, it's not even about yeah. it. It's, you're, is, who's you're open. We have a disclaimer at the beginning of every show. This is yeah. all your opinion. It's, yeah. You know, we, that's why we wanted you here, man. This, yeah. You are very opinionated, and you're not afraid to say so, and yeah. you're not afraid to come with, you know, facts and come. That's with the thing. It's like I, I'm I'm not a I, I'm not gonna say I'm. I, there are things I dislike, but mm -hmm. I don't try to be a hater because I right. try to come with some knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that, you know. And that's most, that's what's missing right now. Everybody yeah. wants to have a voice. Everybody wants to be opinionated and fucking talk all this shit. But they either haven't put in the fucking time or they just don't have the knowledge and are too ignorant to fucking like go right. out and research as to why. Because in my opinion, you need to know both sides of the fucking scale yeah. in order to form a very calculated and you know well thought out opinion. And I think you do a great job of like making sure you pay attention to both sides and see Thanks, what's going man. on. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate the guy. He did um, call early. He was worried we were gonna grill him or some shit. Yeah, we're just talking about shoes. You act like a little bitch right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, you know, I get, I get anxiety sometimes. No, we talking about prep shoes. my shit. Man, on a different topic, though, because I really want to hear what you think about those. Uh, Dano's got some fucking DMX joints on his feet from Bro. Reebok that he actually purchased overseas. Thank and you, I had Cali to, Roots. I had to talk him into it because he was fucking, should I buy these? I don't know if I want to wait. What if they come out over here? I'm gonna. It did come out. Oh, 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 come on, feel. <laughs> what do you feel about oh, this? Do they take PayPal? 
<laughs> That's how I paid. These are PayPal And then already? he saw they had a fucking countdown clock at the top of the site that said next shipment to the U.S. in like two hours. So brilliant on that, your that website. That is really that fucking was, smart. And we both were like, "That's fucking awesome." Yeah. So like, oh, I should just get it in right now because then it'll get put in the mail. Like, that's brilliant. We got another te- Change tech difficulty. No, I mean it's no, all no. no. This is no, we're live. This is live. Straight up, charge. sixty minutes, I just, dog. Real live, you know what I mean? Real <laughs> 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 nice. Nah, but yeah, yeah so, <laughs> so I had to have these because these are my first, the first shoe I had that I have a memory of someone being like, "What are those?" Or like, "Those are cool." You know what I mean? Yeah. Just one of those. It was six, those are cool. Those are cool. We, hey, we, that's neat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't cool in sixth grade, so. Uh, <laughs> That's when that happened. <laughs> I was like, no, no. God, I was graduated college. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, sixth grade. I remember it vividly. That's that's why I had to have these. I remember these, and they're so fucking comfortable. Yeah, these, these are all like little AirPods. Is, yeah, it's it fucking, works. It's yeah, you remember really the good. Iversons? Yeah, it's same. Yeah, shit. I had the. I see. I never had those, but I had the Iverson. Was the answer yeah. or the? Yeah, the, the the fours or the, the three? answer. It must have been the. The fours are fly. I think it's gotta it be the shoes. Fours. Yeah, but they had that same technology. Yeah, and I do until and that was back when you wore them shits to the fucking ground. Like Everywhere. you played in them, yeah. you did everything until oh, yeah. like, went to church. They were like, <laughs> yeah, mine, mine pop <laughs> until mine they pop. popped. Mine pop. Mine pop. Like your fucking voice just. Uh, goddamn, mine pop. Pop. <laughs> pop. 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 Water getting gotten there and everything just terrible. Yeah, yeah. But no, that those when you pull them out the box though, before you loosen the laces and you know they look pop ridiculous. the tongue, them shits look like it water skis. It looks like skis. something you're gonna like. And that's serve. coming from a nigga that yeah. wears a size 14. Like you're gonna <laughs> serve some shit. <laughs> <Good Lord. laughs> those, are, those are beautiful. Thank I really you. like those. Yeah, uh, yeah how, it was funny. How many? We wore the Air Max 95s the other night out to the bar and we, yeah, because we were looking of, at them. Subconsciously it was because of and those. And there are so many similarities mm-hmm. between this shoe and the Air Max 95. This came out afterwards, but like some lacing air pockets fucking th- this exact like grade of mesh mm. you know what i mean i, mean, I think it's that happens wild. with every shoe cycle yeah, though man of course like but it was just, fun, you even really look at some sketchers i would have never thought it back then well the, they blatantly oh that's bro not, you look at some that's sketch- not subtle i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you people shouldn't sleep on sketchers oh come on they're ma- <laughs> yo yo, yo. Uh, they're ma- you know i'm, I'm a lover out of here i'm a lover of every i'm a lover of every brand i'm a lover of every brand <laughs> They're working on some shit. I'm just gonna give you Skechers is working on some stuff. Oh, uh, somebody got a check before they came in yeah, here. New, <laughs> <laughs> new branding. Like I'm just, I'm just telling you, there's some things coming out. I, I, but you also you can work out in them, dog. You got yeah, so much like fucking bugs. working out. Think about this though. <laughs> Nelson is hitting that age where he might. Oh uh, damn. Working. He's like, oh, oh the monarchs, dog. <laughs> Fucking Don't be telling Howie people Long? how it's I sat Howie down Long? like this. Is I was like, doing it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Howie he, Long. It's the Howie Long ads. He That's what's might. Doing. Like, <laughs> I like these wide fit shoes he's talking no, about. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Sketches and case that with demographic, yeah. so let's, let's take that into consideration. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, you know. I mean, it, Sketches is making money. People are buying them. Absolutely. It, I see them everywhere. One yeah. of the top three brands. Yeah. Like, that, they sell shoes. Like, like they sell shoes. It's a fact. I think honestly, I think they uh, there's been a new there's been a younger guard going in in regards to their design and their fashion. Mm-hmm. All jokes aside, I do think there is going to be a paradigm shift. They and have a lot of work to do. I'm to not try. saying they would have to. They in, would have to get in the next eighteen you know they to twenty four months. They should partner with Elon Musk and they should get on a spaceship and go to another planet that hasn't had a population full of people that have seen Skechers and what they do and who wears them. And then there's your new marketing strategy. They go into a completely new demo what I on was another about to fucking say, planet. What I was about to say, they just signed some shit with SpaceX. So you're on some Come shit, on! dog. So Come you're on, on some shit. That's what I'm saying. They just signed some shit with SpaceX. That's too much. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. <laughs> 18, 18 inclusive deal on Mars. 18 to 24 months. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't remember this. Months. I'm going right. to tell, right. tell Sarah to remind they get me rid of the in F? two years. They get rid of that F? I said last year, they got New Balance catchers? was going to be coming up this year. Yeah. Catchers. What did he say? He said, get rid of that S. <laughs> I meant like catchers. the S catchers. logo. The S logo. <laughs> catchers. 
Uh, Yo, if they made their S logo like the shit we used to draw back at elementary school, yeah, the Stussy S. I would fuck the, with wait, some wait, there sketchers. was a pair of shoes. You know what they it, should right? do as a campaign with There's some of the new shit that's coming out? Remember the Pepsi it challenge? It might have been those Reeboks, yes. where you would have to sneak in like yeah. drinking. You didn't like know if it was Pepsi Dwayne or Coke, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Take all logos <laughs> off the shoes, Greek the shit out of them, yeah. and have people wearing them. Yep. Be smart. Oh, oh man, what'd you say about New Balance though? We do have some New Balance. Hey, yeah, here. yeah. yeah. <laughs> new Balance <laughs> came out. Hey, listen, listen. Listen. New Balance. <laughs> new Shout balance out to came Brian Batchelor, man. He sent over for, uh, from New Balance. He sent over some kicks for us to rock and fuck around with. And uh, these are the 574S. And yeah. these are too Sports, small right? for me to put my foot in. So yeah. let me see one of those. Yeah, you, you uh, New Balance has yeah. gone. What do you think about these, Nelson? They've gone on a wave. Grab, this grab year. them up. I told you guys last year, New Balance. Dude, you heard Africa come cakes, up this though, year. Last week. That's why I'm not fucking with them. I think they did, I think they did great. They did a great job. A lot of that that Trump shit that happened in the beginning of the, end of last year, beginning of this year. Yeah. You know the fucking CEO did all he did. Then they dropped the fucking 24 sevens, which I really fucking love. Bro, I'm. I said it last I year. Tried, I said man. they they were coming out with some yeah, heat this year. Yeah, these are dope. And they <laughs> they have not disappointed yet. Yeah, these the white joints. I'm really. These are kind of sleek. They got a little speed to them. The they some look premium fast. materials yeah. on there. No, I really <laughs> like wish I could put them on. I no, these are like fast yeah, walking small. shoes. Yeah, yep. my walkers on a Size fucking yeah. mission. Yeah, please. No, these are dope. That's, um, that's enough begging. New for Balance today. is doing their thing. I mean, obviously, I think New Balance heads is are like a real thing. Here? Like people yeah, that have insane. been rocking with New Balances, they rock have the number that they rock all the time. You know, they because the stitching oh, do yeah. the thing, no, it's but like right it's, on there. for them to change it up yeah. a little bit yeah, and do right what they're doing there. with these and the 24 sevens and even the campaigns around them and a lot you of people that, that they've got to uh, to shoot their shit like they've been doing a good job. Dude, no one's worn this. They can't have taken it out. There's no insole on that one. Because look at this one. No insole. Oh, there's samples. Remember? These are promo samples. So there's no insole. That one does not have an insole. This one does. Yeah, this one does have an insole. This one does. Have an insole. This one does. The shoe has no soul, so it's. The it shoe has a soul. No it just has soul. no heart. No insole. Oh, hold that one. Right. <laughs> Bad juju. So y'all rocking with those? Yeah, I think they dope, yeah. man. If I could put it on, I would right now. We know you always want to put your foot in something. Mm -hmm. Get it clear. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a new segment that we have for you. The thing, the I want to put my foot in Ooh. it, featuring Dano. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get weird. Jello, it's peanut butter, <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> It's all sneakers. There's no food. Oh, okay. <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> you know, put a peanut butter. Food, you know? Oh, I'm man. hungry. I just had a pita. Yep. I'm getting oh, tired, man. It's, it's warm in here. Nelson got his fucking church cloth. He's dabbing. This is cloth. like this. <laughs> got this spotlight. This is, it's like a sweatshop in here. Man, we'll wrap this shit up. Oh, John, he actually put his foot in it. I got I stuck oh, my foot in it. How does it fit? Ew. Hey, my nigga, those actually look really good on you. Appreciate that. On some real shit. Those look dope. That came out fast. They yeah. look clean. Yeah, those look good. All right. Well, both are the first colorways are both awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They killed it with You kind of can't go wrong with these colorways. Yeah. Right. You can't fuck this up. And again, sucker for red, black, and white. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Size 12. If you like this <laughs> colorway, you need to check out the bait collab with G.I. Joe, the Storm Shadows. Okay. Well, you're the bait, dude. Yeah, like, why don't you, you, uh, what, 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 why don't you check, check them out, out all the way like, up yeah. onto this table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, bring, I'll, bring, I'll bring them next time. I'll bring them next time. Out. Yeah, you got to come back, though. This is yeah. this is the type of situation. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe have, you could be man. lucky enough to get a, a review on this very exclusive show that we know the people at. Uh, it's called The Kickback. There you so go. Send them over. <laughs> try on you know these black sheets. Man. Put these in. Put these Are in. You? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, the black sheet. Those you of you that know. don't know, he's got a, a pair of Nike SB Dunk High Black Sheets that actually Ooh. got a cease and desist hey. from Gucci because hey. of the colorway and the pattern. So these you didn't know actually it's... release ah, to no. the public. They uh, Every shop that got these oh. had to send them back. So that is actually a coveted pair. I had yeah. a pair. I had to sling mine not too long ago, this unfortunately. Fucking but sick. Yeah. Like and, good, it, you know, the thing is, like, that pattern was the same pattern they had on the album cover on their Dapper Dan jackets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so yeah. it's like the... All of the there. little histories, the little, because I spent a lot of time in Charlotte, so that's how I cop my pair in mm -hmm. Charlotte, you know. But like the little, the little Queen City nod on the lit on the tongue, you know. It's yep. they, they they did these hard, and it's it still surprises me how the. This is why I think the resale market is fucked. You have a shoe like this, never got sold. Mm -hmm. 
but you find pairs here and there on the internet for and you find price. them for 300 400 yeah. dollars but then you you go on and you buy a pair of Yeezys and they're non-negotiable yeah, it just it really surprised me because if you look at the craftsmanship, it's if you great. look at the materials, they look fantastic. Yeah, you know, it's awesome. just fantastic. Yeah, hard in. Oh, oh boys, yeah. well, how much you want for that left one? This is <laughs> non-negotiable. <laughs> non-negotiable. I like these. Oh, excuse me. Swish, 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 yeah, these are, these I are clean. That one. I sat up and then it just made its way. All right, boys, we're cutting close on the time. Yeah. Dash Radio, we appreciate you having us. Um, Nelson, tell the people where they can find you on the interwebs. Uh, at Nelson BTBMGR, um, across Instagram, the board. Across the board. Yeah, across the board. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Um, John Colombo. Two two seven. Two two seven. At late night color. Can't forget that at symbol. Man. And me, of course, your boy Steezus underscore Steezus Christ across the board. Unless you're on Snapchat, I got in before the underscore, so like you know, you can hit me at Steezus Christ. I don't use it, but if you send the nudes, fuck with your boy. <laughs> this has been episode ten. Oh, what you got? Hundred and sixty dollars for the black sheets. Dead stock. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Mm, mm. That no, it doesn't make. It I sense. wouldn't trust those. A two hundred is the. We gonna keep one, talking. Right? Two hundred, two ten. But we'll catch y'all next week, episode eleven dash right. I got these with the boombox. Box. A piece out. Yeah. yeah, that's the later. Thing. Peace. Peace.